Michael Su from Deep Sky here. Today is Deep Sky's first video blog post, and I'm feeling a little bit sideways. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about how entrepreneurs shouldn't really be caught up worrying about the accounting software that they're using, but rather look at their business as a whole and then designing the entire accounting system from the 30,000 foot view and then working their way down to each processes and finally picking and choosing the right tools and softwares that fit in to the entire accounting system. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll get started with the accounts payable process or what's most known as you know paying the bills for the business. Now paying the bills typically starts with getting the bills in the mail. Right? We get our mails every day of the week and then from those mail we typically gather various different bills from different vendors. Now these bills can be for services that we bought, outside contractors or goods that we bought and these are bills and no one likes them. But we have to deal with them and we take these bills and maybe once or twice a week we enter it into um, the accounting system that we use, the accounting software, should I say, that we use, and we enter them in so we can keep record. And let's call this, let's say you use QuickBooks, right? So QuickBooks is really a software, a piece of software that you utilize or a tool, we we'll like to call it at Deep Sky, in your accounting process. Now, once you enter in QuickBooks, you know, again, maybe once or twice a week, you actually generate checks, and then the CEO signs it, and you eventually mail those checks out to your vendors, paying them the bills that you owe, and be done with it. So that is what we call in fancy accounting terms, the AP or accounts payable process. Right, so a process is a series of steps that you go through to get something done in a business. Now, another more popular and definitely a very useful process is the sales, which is typically outside of accounting, but it's still a process. A sales process and then the accounts receivable process, which is the process of you know, getting paid. So the sales process typically starts with the prospect coming in wanting to buy something from you. Say they want to buy a service and they ask for an RFP or a request for proposal and your sales team, you know, let's say they use a, a CRM software called Salesforce, right? Salesforce is a really popular um, CRM tool, it's a cloud-based CRM tool, and let's say they use a CRM tool to generate a quote. And this quote eventually get translated into a contract, a signed agreement, so both parties are happy, and now we have a contract, and we do the work, right? And this contract will eventually be brought into the receivable process and your accounting team, again, in their accounting system, would generate invoices. Invoices to be sent to the customer so we can collect what is owed to us. And we mail those out, and eventually we receive our money. Yay, we're happy. So we go out grab a drink because we got paid. So if you look at this, these are really three processes, right? And Salesforce, the CRM, is a tool as well as QuickBooks over here in the invoice generation and QuickBooks over here as uh, Bill's input. And these are tools that we have, that we use in our business. And then each of these are processes that we go through. Now, if we look at all of these as a whole,
this whole thing is a system. It's an accounting system and it's a pretty well designed system. So the whole idea that we're trying to communicate here, the whole story that we're trying to tell is that you should really focus on thinking about the system, thinking about your business as a whole and how the system should look like, developing each single processes here, and then in the very end determine what kind of tools, for example, Salesforce and QuickBooks, what kind of tools fits in to your processes and eventually the entire picture as a system. Not the other way around. You shouldn't go out and pick a tool just so you can build this entire thing around it, right? It should be the other way around. The way to do it, the right way to do it, is to look at your business from the 30,000 foot view and then slowly drilling down to each component. That concludes our first video blog post and we certainly hope you learned a lot. And feel free to comment below. We'd like to hear from you if you have questions, comments, anything. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.